Good morning you guys. Welcome back to my channel and today we're going to do um, just some single um, low uh, soap bars <laughs> in these little pink molds here. Um, we are going to be scenting them in strawberries and champagne and I'm going to be coloring them in a taxi cab yellow from Madame Maiko's and this amaranth, amaranth pink from Nurture Soap. And also some TD for some white. So, um, what did I do? Let me get my blender. Okay. First and foremost, I'm going to add this silly old lie. I think I'm soaking at a little bit hotter temperature than normal. I just was tired of waiting. I've been waiting for three weeks to hear something from this job and... I don't know how to take it. Um, when I was in my interview, <clears throat> it's for the county, so it's a pretty good job. But when I was in my interview, the fellow said, Oh, I could take up to three weeks. Hold on. <laughs> said it could take up to three weeks to hear anything. And when I like brightened up my eyes, I'm like, Whoa, <laughs> you know, kind of like, Wow, that's a long time. The lady that was in there, because I was being interviewed by three different people, um, but the other lady was like, no, it's normally about two weeks or so. And so today would mark the three weeks, three weeks, oh my gosh, I can't even talk today, the third week today. So the gentleman also said that we could keep up with the progress in our profile on the website. I've been checking it. I haven't gotten any messages. I haven't gotten anything. So I really don't think that they've made their decision yet or they would at least say we have chosen other candidates and let me know. You know what I'm saying? So I'm really thinking that I still have a chance. <laughs> I'm really hoping I still have a chance. Let me blend this up. <laughs> Paper towel. Dust this off some. So yeah, it's getting really. If if by tomorrow I don't hear something, I'm going to go elsewhere. I I just I really don't think they would like leave people hanging and not let them know. So I'm I'm thinking I still have opportunity, but I just can't keep waiting. It's like Christmas is around the corner. Um, although my kids are older. I still like to get, you know, I have a grandson now. I'd like to get him presents for Christmas and stuff. I mean, my old man works, but it's not fair to him. He has to keep buying. I don't know what in the world that was. <laughs> Over there, something making a noise. Um, but he has to buy all the Christmas this year by himself. So, I mean, I guess that's what a partner's for. It's through thick and thin. I don't know. I kind of want more pink than this. Just a little bit. More pink and yellow, honestly. Okay. Sorry guys, it kills me when I see people got, they have the soap on the edge and they don't wipe it down. Okay. So that is my Monday. I'm about to get on the internet here in a little bit and go to a couple websites and get start getting a profile made up just in case I don't hear nothing by the end of the day. I can fill out and submit some more applications into some other places. I mean, ever since I got laid off from the Air Force Base, it's been very depressing. I loved my job out there. I got paid good. My job was awesome. My people I worked with were awesome. Um, but the place I worked for lost our contract. This yellow is extremely pretty. It's got its own little glitter to it, or whatever you want to call that. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Same with that pink. Alright. I guess I could just leave that sit in there. Alright, I'm going to get some white in here. 
I did do a water discount by about two ounces, so. Ah, make a mess, Christine. That's what we want. So you get it on the edge anyways, right? Okay. Um, I always wipe off my edge so I don't grab a hold of it. It'll slip out of my hand. Mix up this white. Keep it away from my face. When it's low like this and I don't have very much batter in there, it tends to seep out through these little gaps here on my blender and strike me right in my face. I got a video up of it. Um, I think it was one of my hot processes, honestly, that I was doing. My beer soap. No, and I did not put that video up. I don't record all of them. Like, I have another... Um, I have two loaves sitting on my back porch waiting to be taken out of the mold and cut. But I just have not gotten around to it. And one of those I did not record as well. So I don't record all my videos. Alright, I need to get start to get them pouring so I can... I do want to put this in a... One of these. So it's not so hard to pour into these molds back here. But yeah, that was a quick four day vacation for those who did have to work or do have jobs. I know my husband and, well, my old man, we're not married. We've been together 20, maybe 22 years this year, this December. Um, but we have not gotten married yet. <laughs> I mean, you might as well say we are. <clears throat> We've been together since we was like 18. I was 18, he was 19. So, anyways, um, him and my son... I had to go back to work today, and they was both complaining, like, oh my god, that four days went fast. <laughs> so, for those who do work, I'm sorry. You guys have to go back to work. It sucks. We're just going to pour a little bit of white in each one of these, because I want enough room. Last time I did this, I did not have enough room for my blue. I got to kind of pour fast, because I want it to stay fluid. For some reason, my recipes never stay fluid enough. But the days I need it to thicken up, it don't want to thicken up. <laughs> Angers me. Stupid soap. It has a mind of its own. I swear it does. And I do probably have too much made. I really don't ever measure out the right amount. It don't matter. I have other molds I could throw stuff in. So, plus I'm gonna do a little design on the top, and I need some leftover of all the colors. Grab a paper towel. Okay, let's start with our pink over here. Hopefully it's not. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, of course, we won't be able to see the end results inside this because, you know, we're not cutting it, but whoever buys the bar and uses it will see the prettiness inside. And we get the gist of it anyways, right? <laughs> Thicken up some. Well, I don't want that much in that one. Okay, that's enough. Now for our yellow, tap this down.
yeah I got other molds I can throw this in if I have extra so no big deal makes me soaps for at home <laughs> I cheat nope went over the edge a little bit there oh well I'll just knock it back in with our spatula and I, like I said I want to do a design on top so I want to save a little bit of room for the top Just a little bit more in these two. Okay, now let's scrape this in here. Okay, give them a screwer and just screw these around a little bit. I'm not going to be able to see these again. I'm going to do something on the top here. I just want to make sure it's pretty on the inside, even though we're not going to be able to see the inside either. <laughs> Uh, the weight is excruciating. <laughs> oh my gosh, I cannot even talk today. Excruciating. All right, I'm done. <laughs> the weight is uh, stressful. There we go. For this job, it is very stressful. I want this job extremely bad. But if I don't get it, it'll be all right. It is what it is. All right. Okay. Now I need a spoon. For the design that I want to do. We're just going to do uh, a layer. And we're going to do another layer. just have just enough of the pink so I might not have to pour this into anything
I think I mentioned what this was scented in. I think, uh, but it's uh, scented in strawberries and champagne. One of my favorite dupes from Victoria's Secrets. Yeah, we got just enough. We do. Isn't that awesome? Okay, another spoon. Could have used that one, but I don't feel like it, so. <laughs> Let me knock down my sides on this white here. And it's alright if it gets a little thick now. I don't mind. I hope this even turns out how I wanted it to. Some of them are a little high, like this one's like really high. I gotta have to take some of that off there. I just wanna, I think it's the Taiwan swirl or something on top that I wanna do. Nothing major. I do it all on top of the lobes and I wanted to try it on top of these little Single moments here. It's gonna be quite a bit of this left over, so that's all right. I love me some strawberries and champagne, so <laughs> my uh, oh man, boyfriend, husband, whatever you want to call him. Boyfriend sounds too young for me, so we call each other old man, old lady, babe, my other half, and I just dripped on the floor. Sometimes it depends on who I'm talking to. I actually call him my husband, so. Like you guys, sometimes I call him my husband. I don't want to get stuff confused. I know we are living out a sin of the Bible. I'm sorry for those of you who believe in that, but my point is, is look. Look, we've been together 22 years, not married. We've got one child together, and he's helping me raise my other two. And look at us, we're still together. The divorce rate is extremely high. I just don't see what a piece of paper does, you know what I'm saying? God still loves us, so... Uh -oh, I don't have very much yellow at all, you guys. Retro. Hmm. I wasn't thinking about that. Maybe I'll spread it out like this. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't have much at all. And I can always clean up the edges when I'm done, when it's done curing, and I can take it out of the mold. I don't know if I'm going to wait to take this out of the mold on camera or not, you guys. Um, I probably will for y'all. Uh-oh. We might not be able to do all of them. In yellow, anyways. Nope. I might have one or two that's left over without yellow. That's all right. We'll just put another layer of pink. We'll still get that swirl. Yep, so we're going to have four. <laughs> four of them. Okay. I could probably get one more if I try to scrape this out with my spatula. Let me try doing that real quick. We can get one more out of this.
All right, here's the yellow. Another paper towel, because that one's a little messy. So we will do the rest of these in pink. Oh, crap. Hmm, you guys? <laughs> Rut row. Oh, we'll have enough. I'll just scrapey, scrapey. Let's scrapey, scrapey off of here with my spatula. Wipe down my finger. Whoa, don't touch that. And pink one. I really thought about trying to go in and get my uh, job back as the cake decorator, but I don't know. I just, like I said before, I really hate dealing with customers anymore because no matter what you do, they're never satisfied. I mean, you could do the best cake work ever, and they'll still not be satisfied. Let's see which one is not asphalt. I could throw this on top of. Waste not one, y'all. Okay, there's the paint. So all we're going to have left over is some white to put in our extra molds over there. All right, now let's see if we can do this, and I didn't mess this up. <laughs> Um, starting to get a little rough on me here. Maybe I slam it down a little bit. Seems like when I mess with these molds, I get my soap thickens up so much faster and it's just like a pain in the rear end. <laughs> That's alright. We'll get it. Might even do it the other way too. These ones over here have quite a bit on them. Alright. Now let's see. Should I do it the other way, guys? I think so. Maybe we'll leave some of them that way, some of them not. one don't look very pretty. I'm definitely going to have to fix the edges. Now we're just making a mess. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> I'm going to clean these up, and then I'll bring you guys back for the uh, cut, guys. So thanks for joining me. I said back for the cut. I meant back for the old unmolding. Uh, see what I mean? I can't talk today. <laughs> I hope you guys' Mondays is better, better than mine. Have a great day. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I wasn't going to unmold these on camera, but I think I said I would, so I better. Because I always say a lot of stuff on my channel and never do it. <laughs> For the most part, I believe they're ready. Like, they're already coming off the sides without me even trying. And for now, I am going to lay them on a paper towel. 
instead of ruining my pan down here because um although cool process um i heard somebody say the other day that um uh, it takes four weeks to six, eight weeks before you can use a cold process soap. That is untrue. 24 to 48 hours after saponification is when the lye should no longer be active. Um, I wouldn't always suggest using your bar 24 hours afterwards. I wouldn't suggest using it 48 hours either. Um, but 48 hours after you, you make your bar soap, you should be able to use it. Uh, it it sh should be okay. I mean, I would always lie test it, pH strip test it, tongue test it, whatever, um, zap. Um, but the only thing, the thing, the thing is with the, the cure time, what mainly uh, cure time is for is for um, a harder, longer lasting bar of soap. That is the only reason why people cure their soaps. Um, if you Google it, you will, you will see that it does not matter. If, I mean, it does matter, but it that you can you can use this bar of soap like I made this yesterday. Tomorrow I should be able to use this bar of soap. Now it will not last that long. It won't last that long at all because it's very very soft still. But uh, as far as using your soap, you can use your cold process soap 24 to 48 hours. I would make it 48 after you make it. Now the bottom of these are looking good, but the sides. Not so great here. I don't understand this. It's popping out of the mold by itself. That's why I decided to unmold it now. It acted like it was ready. It's not too bad. I mean, nothing I can't fix tomorrow or something. Yes, they turned out very pretty. I mean, you really can't see any um, swirls inside, like I said, because it's the little loaves. Little tiny bars. But... But yeah, I heard I heard somebody say the other day that uh, she was doing live, I think, and she had said something about... I mean, that might have been what she... Oh, gosh, look at this, guys. It's cracking right in half. So I guess you got to be careful with that. That one definitely wasn't ready. Maybe I ain't going to do these right now. <laughs> I can smush it back together, I guess. <laughs> wow, that just sucked. Okay, but anyways, yeah, I think she was live when somebody had asked about how long uh, it is before you can use a bar of soap and she said that it was four to six weeks or whatever cure time but that kind of upset me gotta be my bar always a bar for yourself right um, but yeah if you google it it will tell you that cure time is mainly for a harder more stable longer lasting bar of soap so that made no sense. Like, these other ones are just popping out, right? Like, boom. See, the bottoms of them are just fine. It's the top, like, edges that are... And I think that's where I did a little bit too much. Who knows, guys. I might just have to take this other one out and wait for this other mold. Because I got two of them here. I'll just wait for the other mold until later. But anyways, you get the gist of it. I can't believe it just did that. Like it was stuck. I ain't never had that happen with these molds. But there's a first time for everything, so. <laughs> yep, there she is. Pretty little bars. Um, the pink didn't turn as pretty as I wanted it to. It's not as pretty as it was when it was fresh. Of course, all fresh soap is always so much prettier than... Well, that's really pretty on the bottom. But yeah. Okay, guys, so now that I cleared that up, that you can use your soap 48 hours. I give it a 48 hour span just to be safe that it's life safe, you know. But 48 hours after you make your bar of soap, your cold process, you should be able to use it. And as far as hot process, you're able to use it right away. You can use it still hot while it's, you know, just coming out the crock pot. I mean, yes, it, it is better, don't get me wrong, for all of it to cure a little bit. A um, couple weeks for the crop, uh, hot process crock pot. And, you know, I do mine for, unless it's cupcakes or cake pieces, I do like bars and my loaves. I do those four weeks. So, 
as far as that goes, you know, but like cake pieces and cupcakes, I cure those for eight weeks because you know, they're a whole lot thicker and it takes a little bit longer for that process to get through and harder on the middle. So, yep, I just wanted to clarify that in case anybody had any questions about um, cure time. Uh, cure time just means your harder, longer lasting bar of soap. That's all that means. Um, again, 48 hours, you know, they say 24 to 48 hours, but I would not use my bar of soap for 24 hours. I wouldn't use it 48 hours either, I'm just saying. I would definitely wait 48 hours before using it, if you really had to. Um, but yep, that's it guys, so, um, I probably won't bring it back for this. Looks like it cracked a little bit, I don't understand, like, I did do a little bit of a water discount, but I threw it in the fridge. Oh well. It is what it is. Alright guys, thanks for joining me and you guys hit that thumbs up, like, and subscribe. See you guys later.